Hi, I'm John Mitchell, IPC President and CEO. This year, IPC released two very important standards, IPC 2591, Connected Factory Exchange, and IPC Hermes 9852, the global standard for machine-to-machine -machine communications in SMT assembly. You may have seen these standards in action during our live IPC CFX Hermes factory line at IPC Apex Expo 2019. These standards illustrate how the electronics industry is providing building blocks for seamless machine-to-machine -machine and machine-to-ERP communications. One line combined both IPC Hermes 9582 for output messages to a cloud server, and the second line utilized only IPC 2591. The combined line ran printed boards of different sizes through a real-world manufacturing line using equipment from a variety of manufacturers. We also used boards of different sizes so attendees could see the power of Hermes as equipment was able to communicate upstream to automatically adjust for the new board size. Attendees were also able to follow both production lines in real time from their mobile devices and laptops. This provided attendees a glimpse into the possibilities of how to utilize the data reporting from CFX and Hermes in their own facilities, as well as the power and simplicity of these two standards. To say the least, the buzz around these two standards is palpable, and for good reason. CFX provides a level playing field for manufacturing companies of any size and from any location. Setting up IPC CFX in existing equipment can be accomplished in a matter of hours, not days. And the software development kits, or SDKs for short, developed to make it easier, are available free of charge. Both standards provide a simple standard messaging protocol for equipment. The messaging has been developed so it can apply to new or legacy equipment. That means no more need for custom programming for machine-to-machine -machine messaging or middleware. Eliminating the need for middleware reduces the eventual finger pointing when adapters inevitably break. The standards can provide significant cost savings. Developing a custom built communication software, especially for multi vendor equipment lines, can cost upwards of $30,000 or more and take up to a full business quarter to implement. IPC, CFX, and Hermes are free to industry, and companies have reported to IPC that they were able to implement CFX in less than a day. The SDKs serve, to build, serve as building blocks for enhanced production tracking in IPC, CFX, and Hermes are written are so that a company can easily and inexpensively add app-like functionality to these things, to such things as material traceability or quality improvement. CFX is flexible for almost any piece of equipment or manufacturing line. One company loaded CFX into hand soldering tools and IPC is receiving inquiries on how to implement CFX into non-electronics manufacturing lines. Instant access to real-time data on any piece of equipment worldwide, EMS sales reps wanting to check availability of equipment for placing a new order or reporting a job status to OEM customers can view the activity on any piece of equipment in any facility in any part of the world in real time from their computer or handheld device. This is just a sampling of the simplicity, value, and power of IPC CFX and Hermes. As interest in IPC CFX grows, we regularly get questions about timelines for implementation, CFX roadmaps for equipment suppliers, software developers, and EMS companies. To address this, IPC is collecting industry roadmaps for CFX implementation, and we, begin, and we plan to begin communicating these industry to the industry in August. You can learn more about submitting your own roadmap on the website for CFX, www.ipc-cfx.org. To meet the needs of industry, the 217 subcommittee has decided to put IPC 2591 on a twice yearly revision schedule, and it has planned version 1.1 for release at Productronica in November. Version 1.1 will address new messages that the subcommittee was not able to include in the first version of the standard. 1.1 will also address alternate alternate language SDKs and include any necessary modifications to align with Hermes 9852. There are ways you can begin aligning your company with CFX and Hermes today. First, bring both standards in-house and ask your software team, support team to review them for implementation in your facility or with your equipment. If you're with an OEM or EMS company, ask your suppliers for their CFX implementation roadmaps. Three, nominate one or more people from your organization to join the 217 subcommittee so you can comment on the draft IPC 2591 1.1 before we release it. Sign up and demonstrate your support for CFX at ipccfx.org join. 
check out a live demonstration uh, IPC is planning of CFX 9852 demonstrations at SMTI, SMTAI, Productronica, and IPC Apex Expo 2020. We'd love to have you join the CFX movement.